Howdy, I'm Kate Harrell and I'm the Integrated Pest Management Agent for Warden Jackson and Matagorda Counties. In this video, we will be demonstrating the proper scouting techniques for cotton bullworms. I use the terminal inspection and full plant inspection methods when checking for bullworms in cotton. I start using this method when cotton starts to bloom. You need to open the bracts to look at the cotton squares, especially if the bracts look damaged and are flared open. You should look closely for any discoloration, marks made from the chewing of bullworms, bullworm larvae, and for any eggs that may have been laid. Make sure to check the squares, the flowers, in and under the bloom tags, the bowls, the underside of the leaves, as well as up and down the stems of the cotton plants. Fresh bullworm eggs are bright white in color and are about the size of a pinhead. Close inspection with a magnifying glass will show vertical ridges running up and down the egg. After a day, the eggs will start to darken before turning a light brown in color and hatching after three or four days. Eggs are usually laid singly, but are sometimes in groups of two or more. If more than one egg is laid near each other, only count them as one egg, as caterpillars are highly cannibalistic and will eat each other. Continue checking down the plant, inspecting squares, and developing bowls for full plant inspections. Telltale signs of worm activity are flared bracts with fruit, fruit with chewed edges, holes bored through the squares, flowers or bowls, caterpillar frass, and caterpillars feeding on the squares and young bowls. The caterpillars are mainly found in the squares, flowers, or fruit of the plant, but do move to new fruiting sites while they're feeding. Caterpillars will also feed in the blooms themselves due to the lower Bt expression in the flowers. I look at at least 25 plant terminals or the upper third of the cotton plant per stop, count fruit, and make full plant inspections on at least 5 plants per stop and make about 1 stop per 25 acres of the field. There is also a 20% egg lay threshold in areas with known Bt resistance, such as the upper Gulf Coast where I am. This threshold applies to fields with the first and second generation Bt technology like Bullguard, Bullguard 2, Wide Strike, and Twin Link cotton. In other words, this is cotton without the VIP territory. Thank you for your time and please feel free to contact me or your local county extension office if you have any questions.